pay attention to bring the awareness here. Throughout the day, from the time I wake up to the time I go to bed, see how you are behaving. You are ruled by how your body feels. If your body is not feeling well, then that day you're not going to do much. If you're not feeling well for a month or two, those two months, you're not going to be doing much. So how does this free will kicks in? I'm not going to talk a lot today. I kind of want to go slow. I want you to take your time and sit with this energy and your mind is going to come and it's going to throw tantrum. Like, where is he going? What is he saying? Okay, get on with it. I'm bored. I want to leave. Look at your daily life and see during the day you're living this life, how you're making your decisions and based on what you're making these decisions, where do they come from? Where is the source of it? A thought comes, an inspiration comes that I want to do this or I want to do that. So where is, where is the source of it? Where does this thought come that motivates you to do something? Where was the source of the thought, the inspiration, the feeling, the intuitive knowing? Who created that? That you're acting upon that. Where does that come from? Did you manufacture that thought? So it comes to a point that you begin to seriously question this, if you're lucky for any of us to get to that point, or we come across literature, teachers, uh, spiritual teachers, that we begin to examine this part to really, am I, an instrument that this instrument is reacting to the body sensations. So however the body feels, then I, I roll with it and I do it. So I'm kind of a victim of this body because when this body is not feeling good and it doesn't want to do things, I, there's nothing I can do. I have to obey it. I mean, I can stimulate it with coffee, with drugs, with alcohol to push it to do things. But when it doesn't want to do things, there's not much I can do about it. So part of my success in this life is if this body wants to cooperate, if it has the energy to do it, if it's got the looks to do it, if it has the parts to do it. When your body says yes, it's got all the energy and it's got everything's working. You feel, you know, the feeling's good, the energy's there. Then you accomplish things or you do things. But if it doesn't have it, well, how can you do it? How do you do it? 
you want to start the engine, you want to get going, you say, okay, let's get up and let's do it. But then you don't, you can't start. Do you ever think about that? or your emotions, your feelings. Can you manufacture them? Can you manipulate them? Can you make yourself feel good all the time? Wouldn't you wanna get up every morning and feel really good? Physically, emotionally, feeling really charged up, feeling like you're the creator of the world and you're going to conquer and take over the whole world. And you feel that every day. You're positive, you don't feel sick, you feel strong, you want to go for it. Would you like to feel that way every day? You're in control of your own life, right? You're the one who calls the shot. Why don't you make yourself, why haven't you figured that out? How old are you? How many years have you lived here? How come by now you don't know how to manipulate your body, your mind, and be in control of yourself? How come you haven't learned that yet? You've been around all these years and you've taken these courses and you've gone to school and college and you got all the people around you and you have all the books around you. Why can't you do it? What's wrong with you? To me, you don't look stupid. You don't look dumb. You, you look very smart. Why can't you do what you want to do? Why aren't you what you want to be? Why didn't you conquer the world? Why are you in this situation still that you're seeking, you're looking? It's been a lot of years. So why are you in this position? Have you ever questioned yourself that? Don't take me wrong. I'm not trying to put you down or make you feel bad. I want you to question this reality, really examining it before you put your teacher's clothing on and you go out there and start teaching to other people on Instagram or on Facebook and become a guru or a teacher or a spiritual teacher that you're very well capable of being but not teaching the wrong thing, not coming from a wounded place, not being the wounded healer or wounded teacher, because you haven't figured it out yourself yet. I want you to teach that from direct experience. Directly, it's coming from your own every moment experience of life. <clears throat> 